Hey y'all, long time no see, no video, so sorry about that. I really, if you've been here, you already know this, I go through phases with YouTube, like I'm posting a ton or I don't post, I post once a month. Like I just can't, I'm not good at schedules, I'm not good at trying to make myself post for the sake of posting. Like I have to want to post it, want to film it, feel like the video is good enough, etc. And if like, I feel like my date isn't going to be interesting enough, I just don't film. And I feel like my days haven't been interesting in the last two weeks because I've been dealing with this like sciatic pain like in my like upper butt cheek and it kind of shoots down the leg. It's not been fun. I've been to the doctor. They did give me a shot that did help. Um, so it cleared up I think quicker than it would have but it put me in a major funk. I couldn't work out. I could like hardly walk without pain. I couldn't sleep at all. So I was tired during the day and I feel like once my workouts were thrown off, like I've been going to the gym before work a few times a week and it's been really nice. Once I couldn't do that, I felt like my food was thrown off, even though it's like, well, you can control the food, so control that. No, we were at Taco Bell. We were at Chick-fil-A. We were getting three sides of ranch, like, which is fine, of course, but I was doing it a lot. So just been kind of off lately, but the pain has finally cleared up for the most part. It's a little bit bad at night, but like, I'm fine right now. I'm walking. There's no current pain. So I'm feeling back in the groove a little bit. I have been so lazy the last couple of weekends just because it's like literally hurt to move. So I have done nothing but sit in this house. Morgan, my fiance, goes golf throughout the weekend. And while he's gone, I've literally been just a literal potato. So today I said, you know what? You're not in pain. You need to get out of the house. You need to go do something. So we're going to Trader Joe's, obviously. <laughs> Obviously, that's what we're doing. So I have no real list. I have a couple things that I like wrote in notes that I don't want to forget about, but I'm truly just going to walk around the store and buy whatever speaks to me. Morgan did request that I buy lots of pumpkin things. We love the seasonal stuff from Trader Joe's. So I'm really hoping they have the bagels and the cream cheese. Oh, so good. The pumpkin like, oh, cream cheese. So good. So that, we definitely need some creamer. We need some like random dinners, easy freezer stuff. Just kind of stock up the freezer with like the fun stuff, the like snackies. We have football tonight, we have football tomorrow. So just kind of doing our little Trader Joe's restock, getting some of those fun things back on hand. So we're about to head out. I'm gonna grab a coffee, I think, because can you go to Trader Joe's without an iced coffee? I don't think it's allowed, truly. Um, I've been digging this little half up, half down look lately. Like how cute with a little clip. Morgan loves it too. So I did it for work and he was like, oh, you need to do that more. I love your hair like that. I was like, oh, okay. So I did it curled the other day, but it's just straight today because I blow dried it yesterday. And yeah, so I did that. I'm showing my normal little BB Lila earrings. Um, I have this little embroidered smiley crop t-shirt. It's from um, Chloe Rose, which is just like a local boutique in New Braunfels, but they are online. So you can look them up. Chloe Rose Boutique. They have a couple locations between like New Braunfels, San Antonio, and they ship. Um, these are like purple leggings from Sam's Club. I mean, year 10 years ago, they have this like little braiding in the back, which is cute. And of course I'm wearing my Crocs. We already know. Who thought I would be a croc girl? My friend got me and Morgan these little, what do you call these things? Widgets? I don't know. Whatever you put in the crocs. And they say wifey and hubby. <laughs> so I wear that on there. Um, and that's the fit. Simple, chill. We're going to Trader Joe's. We're feeling cute. We're going to get an iced coffee. And I'm ready to have a good day. So I'm going to take you away. Okay, y'all, we switched to my phone, so sorry if the quality gets worse, but I'm at Target. I'm gonna run in really quick and get a couple of things. Um, I'm gonna get an air freshener for Morgan in my car. Um, I need to reorder my Volcano one, but I haven't done that. Also, my nails look terrible. I need to redo them today. Um, anyways, I'm gonna get us some air fresheners for our car. I think I'm gonna go like vacuum his, so I'm kind of doing like a little car clean day for him um he always does that stuff for me always fills up my tank with gas like literally sweetest man and i think we are going to go to the car wash tomorrow but i just wanted to like get a couple things for us at the car wash so maybe like some little wipes for each of our car that kind of thing so i'll see what i find um so i think i'll take in like he has his suitcase from this week's travel in here too so i'll probably take that in um but i'm gonna get that stuff i might get some paint if they have what i need for some vases that i've been wanting to paint um and 
there was something else. Oh, a candle. There's a candle scent that I'm looking for called Golden Hour, and I want to see if they have it. I believe it's by Magnolia, I think. But anyways, going to run into Target, and I'll let you guys know what I find. Okay, I just ran into Target really quick. I wanted to get a couple things. I'm in Morgan's car today, which is so weird because I always have driven SUVs, so being in like a tiny car, is I'm just like not used to it. <laughs> I am like whipping everywhere though, whipping around. Um, so I ran in, I got us some little car fresheners. I need to reorder the one from Amazon that I love. It's the Volcano Scent, um, little things. It's like $24, it was kind of expensive, but it smells so good, but I haven't done it yet. So I just picked up this pack of six so we can each have a couple in the new car scent. We love the like trees. I honestly think they're one of the best car fresheners that exist. I also got us some creamer just because Morgan doesn't have a Trader Joe's creamer that he loves. So I got the non-dairy pumpkin spice latte creamer and then our typical silk sweet and creamy. So I picked up both of those. Um, I also got these little cleaning wipes because I think we're going to go to the car wash tomorrow. Um, and I thought that would be good for both of us. And then I keep seeing these on TikTok. I think all of these fragrances at Target are supposed to be like dupes of other perfumes. So I just picked up the Body Mist, which is $12.99. They also have the perfume, which I think is like $27.99. And this was just the best one that I, that was there. They were honestly sold out of almost every scent. This one's called Sunphoria. And I really like it. I don't really know how to describe it, but I like it. And I feel like it's very fall. So excited about that. Love a good body spray, new scent. So I picked up that. Um, and I'm about to run and grab myself a coffee. I think we're going to go to Summer Moon today. Me and Morgan always call it Moon Daddies. <laughs> So we're gonna go over to Moon Daddy's, grab a coffee. I forgot to eat before I left the house. I meant to eat this breakfast sandwich that we have in the freezer and I forgot. And now I'm hungry, so I'm probably gonna get one of their Pop-Tarts. I'm hoping they still have some, because it is noon. So fingers crossed they have one of their little Pop-Tarts. And I'm gonna get, I get their Whisper Moon. It's like their least sweet version. Um, and I always get it with almond milk. I think their Moon Milk is still, like which is like their creamer, still dairy. Um, but the almond milk, like if you get the regular milk, it's just thick and I don't like it. So I have to get the almond milk, kind of thin it out a little, but that's what I'm going to do. And I'll show you when I get it. Got the coffee. I get the whisper moon with almond milk. So good. It still has like a little sweetness to it. Like it's just the perfect coffee. Mm. I love summer moon. And then I got the strawberry. They call it a toaster, but it's like kind of like a toaster strudel pop tart situation to die for. Okay, this is definitely the biggest Trader Joe's haul I've ever done. Okay, I'm gonna move a couple things to the back so we can make some room. Let's start with Frozen so I can get that stuff put away and I got a lot of Frozen. I'm honestly nervous it's not all gonna fit in the freezer so everyone keep your fingers crossed. Okay, hold the cones. We love these. These are delicious. I got the chocolate chip ones. Um, you can have three cones for 280 calories. So, love that. These are new to me, artichoke timbales, timbales, I don't know. Um, artichoke hearts baked with mozzarella and grand, no, grana padano cheeses. I literally don't know what that is. But this is that, the whole thing has four of them and each one is 130 calories. So like an artichoke cheesy like cup, it's kind of shaped like a muffin. 
also new to me, loaded potatoes, diced potatoes with ground beef, tomato, and cheese. You could eat this like as a meal. It's 490 calories, 24 protein, um, or as like a side dish, right? Uh, breaded cheese curds, cheddar cheese curds. We don't really have cheese curds down here because um, we're, we're in Texas, but I've had them like in Illinois and stuff and they're so good. So I'm excited about that. Football food, you know. This is a staple I always pick up for Morgan, the spicy Thai shrimp fried rice. It is very spicy and he loves it. And on nights that he eats that, I eat the bulgogi beef, um, like kimchi, kimchi fried rice. Fried rice with kimchi is so, so good. It's one of my favorites. Morgan doesn't really care for it, but it's seriously one of my top like five favorite Trader Joe's items. Also got the chicken spring rolls. Morgan doesn't really do spring rolls, but I thought I do. <laughs> okay, another chocolatey treat. This is fudgy bonbons with chocolate sprinkles. They are in the um, freezer section, but fudgy, yes says melt in your mouth treats from Portugal. Yum. I got two of these, but I don't know where the other one is. The chimichurri rice, staple, staple in our house. They didn't have it the last time I went, so I got two of those. And we've had these multiple times, but these are great for like a game day, weekend snack. Um, three is 240 calories. Buffalo style chicken poppers with ranch. Morgan loves those too. Delicious. Next, of course, I got the pumpkin bagels. I kind of regret not getting two so we could throw them in the freezer. We love these with the pumpkin cream cheese. That's in here somewhere, but obsessed. One of the better fall products, in my opinion. Two of the vegetable fried rice. This is great with literally anything, shrimp, chicken, whatever. I also got the chicken chow mein. This is like a long time favorite of mine. You can have the whole bag for 600 calories and about 30 protein. I also picked up the Reg, no, the raw Argentinian, Argentinian red shrimp. Love the red shrimp from Trader Joe's, delicious every time. Here's the cream cheese. It's by the um, like cheeses. So look in the cheese aisle and that's, or like the cheese part of the store. Also got a margarita pizza. Morgan's been craving margarita, margarita pizza. We got one from the store last week and it ended up being gross. He didn't like it, the Newman's own. He said it was trash. So got him another one to try. Pumpkin waffles. We are in our like frozen waffle era right now. So I grabbed those. And I think my friend Danny tried these and told me they were good. Shrimp Boomba. It's crispy battered tail off shrimp with a sweet and spicy sauce. So I'm pretty sure she said that was good. We'll give that a go. All right, next bag, let's hope this isn't all freezer because I'm literally already out of room. Turkey meatballs, we love these from Trader Joe's. Those are great. Garlic naan, I know this is like a really popular item. I've just never tried it from there, so we got that. Pastry pups, a few of these things we're gonna make tomorrow for football, so that's kind of like this and the cheese curds, et cetera. I got two of the um, like Indian inspired meals, the vegetable birani. I think is what it's called. So that's 420 calories. And then this one is the chicken tikka masala. Literally never had, I don't think I've ever had Indian food, honestly. 360 calories for this and it has basmati rice, I think. Yeah. Here's the other chimichurri rice. Chicken pot stickers, a staple, staple for me. I got two of these, another football food for a different weekend. The Pupusas? Pup pupusas, I think. Chicken cheese and green chili. It says it's a stuffed corn tortilla filled with chicken, mozzarella cheese, and green chilies. And it says there's one, I think. Oh no, there's three. Oh, I'm so dumb. I bought two because I thought there was only one per package, but there's three per package. So hopefully we like those because we have plenty. Um, this is, I think, a newer item. Italian. Hutchison. He's playing with a box on the ground. Garlicky pasta. Italian pasta in a creamy umame. Umami. Umami. Whatever. Garlic sauce. I've seen people post about that. Another cream cheese. Love. Okay, we've somehow managed. Sorry if that was like a really far away haul. I didn't mean for it to be. 
Got the beef rolls. These are for Chansey. The tomato basil marinara. We had this recently and it's super good. It reminds us of a local place that Morgan had growing up. Um, Sophie just posted about these and I've never found them before and I was so excited I found them today. The mini almost everything bagel sandwich crackers. They have a cream cheese filling. Those look good. And then I got two like salsas, the pepita salsa, super good. And the cowboy caviar, I keep seeing people post about this on TikTok. It's corn, black bean, and pepper salsa. So that would be really good. I also got a lot of chips, so prepare yourself for that. Um, I got the white cheddar corn puffs, just delicious. You can have a lot for little calories. Everything but the bagel kettle chips. I had these at my friend's house and they are really, really good. So got those. Also, everything but the bagel. I mean, we're on a roll here. Um, the ciabatta, we keep these in the freezer, which we might not be able to until tomorrow because we need to clean some stuff out. <laughs> we're gonna have to make like a feast for the football. We do not have enough room in that freezer. So we got those ciabatta rolls. We love to do breakfast sandwiches on those. I also got the reusable sponge cloths just for like cleaning. There's several in here, um, five, and you can like put them in the dishwasher. They're literally like really thin sponges for like counters and sink cleaning, random stuff like that. They had these, they were um, sampling and they are so moist, so delicious. Morgan's gonna die. Pumpkin streusel muffin. They are gluten free. You literally can't tell at all. Delicious, like so moist, amazing. And then this is a non-food, but it's the Honey Hydration Day and Night Cream Duo. So it's like, um, what's the word? Moisturizer. It, I think, is a dupe of the pharmacy, and I do have that pharmacy brand um, moisturizer from a FabFitFun box, and I really liked it, so I'm excited to see how this measures up. This was um, $7.99, and you get two little ones. My favorite, this is my favorite fall, minus the bagel cream cheese combo. This is my favorite fall item. I look forward to it every year. The pumpkin tortilla chips. I don't know what it is about these that I'm obsessed with. Morgan is like, I mean, they're good, but they're not, they're literally the best chip to me. I'm obsessed. Didn't try them the first like couple years because I was like, ooh, it's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be weird, but it's not. It's, ugh, they're so good. So two of those tortilla chips. We got the Salsa Verde chips again. Morgan loves these. These are very flavored, like think Dorito, but Salsa Verde flavor. Also got the cinnamon roll granola. I actually meant to pick up some yogurt so Morgan could have that combo, but I forgot. So we'll get some at the store and maybe next week. Also got the pumpkin spice cookies. These are just like the iced sprinkle cookies. We got those last year and really enjoyed them. I always get the ginger mints for my dad. Decided to get the creamy tomato basil pasta sauce. We'll see if Morgan can get down with that. He doesn't really do creamy stuff, but I feel like since it's not Alfredo, it'll be okay. And then I also got two of the sparkling black teas. I got the peach, which is my favorite. And then this one is actually, I guess, white tea, sparkling white tea with pomegranate juice. I love these as mocktails. I just put ice in a wine glass and pour this over after work. They're little cans. White tea pomegranate is 10 cows. Black tea peach is 15 cows. Um, it fills up my wine glass and it just like, you get the vibe of wine after work or whatever, a little mocktail. And it's really nice because it's, I mean, not actually drinking alcohol. So love that. We did it. That is the entire haul. Wow. I feel like for $200, like, yes, we did fantastic. Honestly, I'm impressed with myself. Truly, I got literally everything I could have dreamed of. And I only spent like double of what I usually spend while I'm trying to budget at the grocery store. Like $200 I feel like for us is not a bad grocery haul if we're getting this much food. I don't even know where to start. I'm excited, I might sample a few things. I'll let you know what I try. I am really interested in this. Okay, let's sample it now. Who are we kidding? So little and cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It reminds me of something 
but I can't think of what. These are delicious. Highly recommend. Good recommendation, Sophie. Mmm. Hey y'all, so I am ironing some shorts. Well, not really ironing the shorts, but like ironing a fold. Cause these are like a long fit from American Eagle. And I don't like longer shorts on me. I feel like they make me look like I have a weird body. So anyways, I just fold them over. And every time I wash them, it goes away. But I'm just basically making a, whatever you call this, cuff um, with my iron. And I'm wearing, you know, I don't even know where I got this shirt. I think it might be Vici. I'll have to look. It's something I bought online, I think. Uh, and I've never worn it and I love this shirt like I'm really excited for Texas fall because I feel like this like little poof sleeve oh y'all know how I love a puff sleeve so anyways um, I'm getting ready to go meet Morgan and his friend James we're meeting at this Mexican restaurant that we love if you're in San Antonio um, it's called Aldaco's it's off of like Stone Oak um, and like hardy oak, I think. We love it, it's super, super good. They have these avocado margaritas that are to die for, and that's really the main reason we go, is for the avocado marks. But we're gonna have dinner there. Me and Morgan, we're gonna go anyways, and then uh, James's wife, Melanie, is like with her family right now, um, like her cousins or something, and she's not home, so he's gonna have dinner with us. They went golfing, did I say that? They went golfing today. So they're driving to the restaurant, and I'm just gonna meet them there and yeah I kind of touched up my makeup changed my earrings nothing groundbreaking did some laundry after I got everything to finally fit in the fridge I mean in the freezer and then I also had some of that cowboy caviar with the pumpkin um, tortilla chips oh, great combo really really good combo so Excited for Morgan to try that. Um, okay, there we go. Okay, full fit. So we have this top. Again, I will find this wherever it was from and link it somewhere in my email. Um, great top. This is a large, honestly, you could size down. I think that um, unless you have, if you have a small chest, size down. But love this. I hope it's still available with like the cute. Isn't that cute? It also feels very high quality. I'm in love. I might wear this to Worst Fest this year. It's an idea. These are just American Eagle. Like they were on sale, I don't know, years ago and I bought them. See, the back just never stays rolled, but we're going to try. I really more care about the front. I don't like what the back looks like. Um, but yeah, this is the outfit and then I'm just wearing these little sandals from Amazon. I can link these for you. I wear them all the time to work. They're so comfortable and I feel like they are kind of an Hermes dupe, so we love a dupe. But yeah, that's the fit. Um, I'm wearing these earrings, which are just from a local boutique. And then I added this little ear cuff. It's not a piercing. It's just a little, a little cuff that you slip on. And hopefully it doesn't fall out. But I figure since my hair is up, you can like kind of see it. Isn't that fun? Love it. So, and then I have my same gold clip. This is also from some boutique, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> Story of my life. This is why I'm a terrible influencer because I don't know where anything's from and it's all from years ago. Um, but yeah, it looks like the last time I looked, he was kind of by my work. So I'm thinking I should leave. Where are you at? Oh, they've gotten so far. Okay, I need to go right now and it should be perfect timing. So try to get a little footage at the restaurant, show you what we get. We always get the queso to die for a couple margs, dinner. And maybe we'll roll this weekend vlog into tomorrow. If not, thanks for watching. Let me know what your favorite Trader Joe's items are. I'll see you in the next one or the next clip. Not sure yet. <laughs>